CSV files as in comma separated values became a de facto industry standard for data exchange wherever Excel is involved. If you ask me, the CSV is the utter crap of a format. However, because it is the industry standard, your application from time to time just have to read it, parse it, and use it. Today, in this tutorial, let me show you how to read and parse CSV files in your Java application using the OpenCSV library. Let's begin with taking a look on how the CSV format is structured. The CSV format is used to transfer table data. When in each row you get one row of the data and columns are separated by a comma. However, However, although the name suggests that the comma should be used as the column separator, any other character might be used. It might be comma, it might be semicolon, but it also might be a tabulator. In the file I have over here, although it is the comma separated value, the separator for columns is a semicolon. And it's fine, we will only have to inform our code that for this example, the semicolon instead of comma has to be used. On top of that, if any cell in our table would contain the separator characters, this cell would have to be escaped. That means if, for example, this cell I have over here would contain a semicolon, it would have to be escaped with the quotation mark like this. Luckily, in our example, this is not a case and we do not need any escaping on our data file. With that explained, let's start coding. By the way, this video was created thanks to my YouTube channel members. Thank you guys, you're the main reason this channel keeps going. You give me a motivation to record more tutorials like this. If you're not one of them, then please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. First, we would have to include the OpenCSV library in our POM file so that the Maven can load the dependency. When I'm recording this video, the version 5.7.1 is the latest version of the OpenCSV library and you always should use the latest versions. When this is done, let's quickly install on the dependencies. I have them already installed, but well, let's be on the safe side. Our application does only one thing. It instantiates the MyCSV reader, which is our wrapper for the OpenCSV library, and then calls the read method on it with a file with the defined path. Inside of the MyCSV reader file, there is not that much happening. It contains a method read which accepts the file parameter and returns nothing because this is only a test method that at the end will only display on the console the content of our CSV file. To start reading and parsing the CSV, we have to have the instance of the CSV reader class from the OpenCSV library. There is a simple way to instantiate the CSV reader, but the simple way does not allow us to create a reader with the custom separator, because in our example we will have to use the semicolon, and also when required it allows us to use a custom escape character. So instead of just instantiating the CSV reader, we will instead use the CSV reader builder. The reader builder will require us to pass the file reader, which will handle reading the file from the file system. By the way, if required, we can use different readers, like for example stream readers, which are, let's be honest, more efficient when we are working with bigger files, and then attach the custom CSV parser. And for that we will just have to use the CSV parser builder and set it with correct configuration. In our case to use the semicolon separator and if we really would want it also with the quote char. When CSV reader object is instantiated the next row can be read with the read next method. Read next method returns the 
columns inside of the row as the array of strings. Yes, those are all strings and if your columns does not contain a string values, you will have to parse them to any type you want. For this example, the string is fine. We previously declared the record variable as the array of string, so let's just assign the output of the rig next to the record variable and then just print the output with four columns. Number of the row, value of the column 1, column 2 and column 2. Three. And as you can see, the access to the columns themselves is just by indexing the array inside of this specific row. Of course, at the end, you have to remember to close the reader. Yes, I know the reader implements the auto closable interface, but for readability of this example, I instantiated the reader separately, not inside of the try with resources statement. Now, when we have this thing covered, let's see if it's working like expected and let's run our application. Let me start the application and as we can see here in the terminal, the console correctly was able to read all the data from the CSV file, parse it and display in the console. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy coding!